Okay, this is going to be my uh, first impression of Kubuntu 10.10. .10. Uh, I think I use it for like a day or two now. Anyways, I you know the default stuff. Um, if you watch my screencast on that, yeah, those things still exist and those things still sucks. Okay, it sucks balls. But um, besides that, though, um, it's actually a pretty uh, uh, you know decent digital this time. Um, let me see some of the things that I hate about this. Oh yeah, the installing process. Uh, it's fine. Okay, that's not what I have a problem with. It's the problem is that you're stuck with the installer. You can't use your browser or anything. That's what I'm used to. You know, uh, I'm I'm looking at porn and and installing at the same time. You know, that's what I do when I have a uh, live distro. Uh, I know you can do that in Ubuntu, but in Kubuntu they didn't let me do that. They didn't let me use the browser to surf the net or whatever. Uh, so you're stuck with the stupid installer. But uh, the install process wasn't, you know, that long. It was it was pretty quick actually. So I didn't have a problem that much. But I'm used to, you know, surfing the net while installing. <laughs> uh, let's go on to the next thing. Um, so they actually, I guess they replaced it, uh, Firefox with, um, what's this one called? Recock. I mean, Reconk. What the fuck? Here you go this browser okay look I understand if you want to replace something they fucking replace it you, they have like an icon to install Firefox that's just stupid okay if you're gonna re replace a browser you know go ahead and do it don't fucking leave Firefox in there um, which is that, that's that that was stupid you know you have like two browsers um, you know if you make a decision then do it you know although Reconk um, I haven't tried it that much, but it was still slow. So if you ever use Linux, I right now I recommend the top of the food chain is Chromium. Okay, uh, it's the fastest. It's better than all the other crap. Uh, so that's what I recommend. Some of these other default uh, application sucks too. You know, uh, is it Amarok? I know there's a lot of fan of Amarok, but look at the fucking design here, and it takes forever to load too. Look at this. Never mind. What up? There you go. Look at the design here. Who the fuck designed this, man? This is horrible. You know. They have some lyric crap in the middle. Uh, <clears throat> they haven't changed uh, since the last time I, I, I saw uh, Amarok. So it's pretty much the same thing as, as uh, the last uh, update that they have, which is still bad. Okay. Um, I think this is something new too the Dragon Player. Um, it's okay. It's not that great. I think I wish there was something better. I don't know. I'll find some applications and do some screencasts because KD is is you know the Kubuntu crap on here, uh, kind of sucks. Uh oh yeah, another thing is that uh, K Package Kit. Uh, they they made it look like uh, was it the Ubuntu Software Center? Uh, you know you can click on here. Kind of dig it. It's actually gotten a little bit better. You know, not that much has changed. Another thing though is when you're searching for something in here, and if it's like a known app, they have like a little icon on here. Right here, a little icon on here. Kind of dig that. You know, they actually improved it. Not like the like the the last two releases. They haven't done shit with it, but this time they have. So, uh, it's looking better. Okay. Uh, so that's it for that part. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, the thing that um, I think they need to work on is uh, Kwin. Uh, it's just too slow, and I don't think it's just Kubuntu. Well, I'm pretty sure it's not just Kubuntu because I was reading up online, and uh, other people, like on Gen Two fuckers, um, Zeus and shit like that, they were having the same problems. Uh, Kwin with uh, OpenGL. And I think maybe uh, proprietary drivers. One of those th uh, three things uh, is the problem. I don't know which, um, but hopefully I'll find out. Anyways, it's it's slow. That's what I gotta say. So if they actually fix that, that'd be great. Um, and the reason I'm using, uh, well, I'm trying to use KDE more is um, hopefully to replace my GNOME uh, distro. Because you know, GNOME 3 is coming around and we can't stop that shit. And I'm thinking 
Well, probably, I probably, yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna suck major balls. Uh, just like when uh, K KD 4.0 came out, it sucks major balls. That's what I'm thinking is gonna happen with uh, Gnome 3, okay, with that Gnome Shell crap. So if that sucks balls, I'm gonna probably use KDE. So that's why I'm trying to use KDE, and I'm just gonna try to use KDE like pure apps, you know, like uh, you know everything that's like QT apps and all that, no gnome stuff. I hopefully don't need gnome stuff. So I'll try that, and um, you know hopefully get some better apps on here. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Speaking of uh, gnome shells, um, you know. This is actually kind of cool. They they jacked that style from uh, Gnome Shells, which uh, you know you can add here the plus and, and uh, delete sign here, All right? So yeah, Gnome Shell is actually a good idea if you take some parts of it, but uh, as a whole, that thing was crap. Anyways, uh, that's it. Uh, that's my first impression. I think uh, it's a decent distro. This one, um, ten mark, ten point ten, uh, and. Uh, I think in the past I made a mistake by installing uh, Kubuntu on top of Ubuntu. So don't do that, people. Don't install, you know, Ubuntu and then Kubuntu on top of it. Uh, put it on a separate uh, partition, like I'm doing now, and you have less of a headache. And it's actually much better, in my opinion, to do it this way. Uh, so that's it. Decent, not great.